Almost 634 now. COVID numbers in Douglas County have been rising this week. Hundreds of new cases reported. 3 News Now's Alex Whitney went looking for answers to why that is. After years of surges and slowdowns, folks have started to get complacent about COVID. But a new subvariant is bringing the reality of the pandemic back to Omaha. From what we're seeing now, it appears that uh, a, a large proportion, I, I would guess more than half of the cases that we're seeing uh, in our area these days are BA4 and BA5, and that matches the trend that we've seen regionally and, and across the country. Officials say the latest versions of the Omicron variant are spreading quickly because they are sidestepping previous immunity. That means it can easily infect you even if you've already had COVID. And, uh, natural immunity, while it's good for the variant that uh, you were infected with for uh, a period of time, your immunity for new variants is probably not nearly as good, and that seems to be even more pronounced for BA4 and BA5. Despite rising COVID cases, most folks are no longer masking or socially distancing. And with a busy holiday weekend upon us. And, and so those environments where these individuals can be exposed to a larger number of people, like crowds and, and particularly crowded indoor settings, uh, those are really the, the environments that are prime real estate for super spreading and drive transmission in the community. Recent studies show that BA4 and BA5 can cause serious infections regardless of whether you've had COVID before. And Lawler says vaccines are still the best bet to keep yourself and others safe. And wants to remind folks that you must stay up to date on your vaccinations for them to remain effective. And so these more recent variants are not milder. They're, they're only acting milder in the community because we had done a good job of getting people vaccinated and boosted who were in the highest risk category. But now everybody's becoming more susceptible as we move farther and farther away from the last dose of vaccine for most of our residents. So if you want to have a fun 4th of July weekend and stay healthy, you might want to keep COVID in mind and some extra masks handy. For 3 News Now, I'm Alex Whitney. Lawler says we're now seeing the highest amount of new COVID infections since the first wave of Omicron last year.